Hello to you, Mark Hall here with your weekly update on the fine wine investment market. Today, Friday, the 15th of February, 2013. So what's been happening in the market this week? Well, the 2010 Bordeaux vintage has come under the microscope with top critic James Suckling releasing his scores following recent tastings. Now, here at Aston Lovell, it has to be said, we're growing increasingly cynical about the hype surrounding recent Bordeaux tastings. As every year, it seems to be that every vintage is coming out to be greater than the one before. And, uh, well, we're just not so sure about this. We firmly believe that truly great vintages still only come along perhaps twice in any given decade. But saying that, it does appear that 2010 shows great promise if suckling scores are anything to go by. He has, for example, awarded 11 wines a perfect score of 100 points, compared to only 9 wines from the 2009 vintage, which was incidentally also being hyped as possibly the best ever. So, what should you be looking to buy from 2010 as an investment? Well, it appears that the standouts are probably the Cheval Blanc, which Suckling describes as truly one of the greatest ever. And the Latour, which might be a good bet, if only because no more Latour will be available to buy as on Premier after the 2011 vintage. Other wines worth keeping an eye on are Petrus from Lesser Vintages, which suddenly seem to be growing in popularity. Now, according to Livex, the end of last week saw a flurry of trades on this exclusive wine, accounting for more trades on the 7th and 8th of February than in the whole of January. And the off vintages are certainly outperforming the classic vintages by some distance, seeing a price rise of 78.7% over the last three and a half years, while iconic vintages have risen just 23.7% over the same period. Now, you still need fairly deep pockets to buy an off vintage, though. Uh, the average price for a case of 12 bottle is currently in the region of £15,000 compared to £30,000 for one of the good vintages. Now, on a slightly different subject, last week we gave you a rundown on the individual performance of a selection of purchases that we've made for our clients in the last couple of months, utilizing our unique fine wine trading platform. Now, today we thought we'd look at some of our other purchases as they all seem to, seem to be performing rather well. So to start off, uh, the Angelus 2005 we reported on last week, which was incidentally up 7% since January, is now up 14%, having risen another 7% in the last few days alone. Now the Orzon 2006 is up 13%, and the 2007 Orzon is up 6.7%. Clean A98 is up 3%, and the Costa Estonel 2003 is up 5.8%. And let's not forget the Parvi 2009, which is also up 4.16%. Very good performances. So, if you would like to buy and sell wines at industry prices and at the touch of a button, the only place you can do this is on our fine wine trading platform. And to remind you, this is the only platform in the industry that allows the private investor to buy and sell wines from Livex. Now, by using our platform, you'll be able to buy your wine for far less than any wine broker will be able to offer it to you for. And most importantly, your exit route is immediate and it is guaranteed. So, to register free of charge for a trading account, simply visit astonlevel.com or call us on 0208 858 9990 and we'll be happy to help you and remember if you simply want to sell your wine we will do so immediately at market price and for the lowest fee in the market so that is it for this week i hope you have a great one and i look forward to seeing you next friday